Data is my jam. It's the sweet, sweet strawberry preserves to the PB&J that is my channel. And as a manager over at eRank.com, using data in order to understand the habits and shopping patterns of Etsy customers is the single greatest thing that can help you to rise above the millions of other competitive sellers. So in today's video, I'll be explaining exactly how shoppers perceive different levels of shop reviews, from five stars all the way to one star, and at what point shoppers will be turned off enough not to buy from you at all. Happy Halloween, unless you're watching this in November. And then, I don't know, these are like turkey lights or something. For those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore, founder of the Handmade Alpha Academy for Etsy sellers and manager at eRank.com, Etsy's most popular SEO tool. And this season, we hosted our biannual Etsy shopper survey right before the holiday season, a questionnaire that was sent out to 1,000 shoppers who had recently made a purchase on Etsy. Through these surveys, we want to get an idea of what's important to these shoppers in order to help sellers like you to game up for the busiest season of the year. Be sure to click up here to watch last week's video, where we ask shoppers what qualities make a shop more trustworthy in their eyes. Of those trust factors that we covered last week, overall shop reviews and individual product reviews took the pie, with 71.2% of shoppers saying that the overall rating of a shop was important for trust, while 81.4% said that the individual reviews displayed on an Etsy shop page are what matters most for trust. And as an Etsy seller, it's important to remember that you can't please everyone. And occasionally, bad reviews do happen, but it's the overall manner and how you handle reviews or respond to them publicly that really defines the overall service and integrity of your brand. In just a few minutes, I'll share a few tips of how you can help prevent bad reviews in your shop during the holiday rush. But first, at what point do shoppers decide that your number of bad reviews is too much? I'm talking about your average reviews displayed on your individual product listings on a search page, as well as on your actual storefront. Similar to grades in school, a bad review when you have hardly any reviews at all will make a larger impact on your average, as opposed to a seller who already has thousands of positive reviews. And when it comes to the responses from buyers who participated in our survey, the numbers are quite predictable. 89.6% of buyers said that they were very likely to purchase from a shop with a five-star average. The only thing that I personally found surprising about our five-star average question was that 8.8% said that they were only somewhat likely to buy, and 1.6% said that they were not likely to buy from a five-star shop, which is something to think about. Due to online scams and inflated Amazon reviews of subpar products, many buyers find solid five-star reviews to be suspicious or too good to be true. So maybe the occasional four or even three-star buyer isn't as detrimental as some sellers believe. Regardless, when we ask those same shoppers how likely they were to buy from a shop with a four-star overall average, we saw a relatively large drop in those who said that they were very likely at 66.5%. The number of those who were somewhat likely jumped to 30.9%, and only 2.5% said that they were not likely to buy from a shop with four stars. So think of four to five stars as the gold standard when it comes to Etsy. Even Etsy themselves state that four and five star reviews are considered good, with four stars signifying that a product has met the buyer's expectations, and five stars signifying that the product exceeded expectations. But what happens when a shop drops to a three-star average? This is where things become a bit more complicated, both in terms of buyer perceptions as well as the likelihood of being favored by Etsy's algorithm in search. Only 20.9% of shoppers said that they were very likely to buy from a three-star seller, while 54.8% said that they were somewhat likely. The most staggering number is the percentage who said that they would not buy from a three-star shop, which made up 24.3% of those surveyed. 
So while I wouldn't consider a three-star shop to be completely doomed, if you find yourself in this position, it's time to make a fast pivot in the right direction. A few bad reviews are to be expected of any business, but when your overall average drops below four stars, it means that there's something seriously wrong. And no matter how frustrating or ego shattering it may be, it's time to read the issues within each of your individual reviews and begin taking this feedback back to heart in order to improve your brand. Otherwise, you'll quickly find yourself sliding down a slippery slope that could lead you into two-star territory, or what I would consider the point of no return. At two stars, Etsy is very unlikely to rank your listings high in search. Each bad review takes a toll on what's known as your customer and marketplace experience score. And this score, along with your individual listing quality scores, are one of the primary factors that help your listings to rank in search. When Etsy sees that customers aren't happy with the products that they've received from your shop, Etsy then sees you as a liability, which will result in them showing your products to less and less people. And while you may be able to market externally and drive a bit of your own traffic from social media, once buyers arrive in your shop, it's gonna be pretty hard to ignore that glaring average rating at the top of your storefront. Only 10.6% of shoppers surveyed said that they'd purchase from a shop with a two-star average. And only 23.5% would even consider it at all. As expected, the overwhelming majority stated that they were not likely to buy at 65.9% which means that one-star shop numbers should be no surprise, with just 12.7% saying that they'd buy from a shop with one star. And honestly, even that 12.7% is surprising to me. I figured it would be way less. 15.6% said that they were somewhat likely to buy from a one-star shop. And that leaves us with 71.7% .7 who said that they would not buy from a one-star shop. With the holidays right around the corner, one of the best ways to prevent bad reviews is by ensuring that you've done everything in your power to ensure that the customer knows everything that they need to know about your item before they place their order. To help eliminate buyer confusion, I recommend placing the most important information about your products in one of your 10 listing photos, rather than just in your product description. Over the years, Etsy's made our product descriptions ridiculously hard to find, causing many shoppers to miss important details such as materials, size, expected arrival times, and more. So even if a shopper does miss your product description, it's very likely that they'll still look at all 10 of your listing photos. And while we're on the topic of listing photos, I also recommend adding your holiday cutoff dates to one of these 10 images. As of right now, all major mail services, including the USPS and Royal Mail, have published their holiday shipping deadlines. However, in the 11 years that I've been selling online, I can tell you from experience that these dates are never correct. So I recommend adding at least one week to the dates that these services recommend. Post these cutoff dates in your 10 listing photos, your product descriptions, your Etsy cover photo, your shop announcement, and your FAQ section. And if a customer places an order after your shipping cutoff dates, send them a quick message that says, Hey Bob, I just wanted to make sure that you're aware that you placed your order after my guaranteed holiday shipping deadline. I'm going to send your order out as quickly as possible, but it likely will not arrive in time for the holidays. If the item was needed by the 25th, please let me know and I'd be happy to cancel the order for you. Bad reviews have a lasting impact on your shop, so if the customer would like to cancel the order before before you've started on it, this is a much better outcome than dealing with an angry customer later on. And no, cancellations and refunds have no negative impact on your shop. So if possible, give the customer 24 hours to cancel before you start their order if it's placed after your holiday deadline. When it comes to getting a bad review, it can feel incredibly disappointing and sometimes even infuriating when that review seems unjustified. But as long as you aren't allowing negative reviews to pile up in your shop, bad reviews aren't the end of the world. Use them as an opportunity to learn about how you can improve your products and how you can express important information that customers may be missing. 
And moving forward, your best course of action is to strive for amazing customer service in an effort to bury that negative review under a pile of positive ones. That's pretty much the end of the video. And since I'm not one of those channels who takes on a bunch of paid sponsorships, today's video is sponsored by me. For those who have been waiting, my self-paced Etsy coaching program is opening in just a few short weeks. And since we only open it twice a year, I wanted to make sure that you have plenty of time to think it over. HAA is my nine module training program that teaches sellers how to build, market, and grow dominant brands on Etsy step-by-step. -step. In the Handmade Alpha Academy, I teach you how to define your target audience, how to use proven psychological triggers in your shop and marketing to attract that ideal customer, and how to build a perpetual traffic funnel so that you have more control over the money that you make from your business. While some Etsy crash courses will teach you how to list items, upload a banner, and do all the stuff that I already teach here for free on my channel, the Handmade Alpha Academy is currently the only Etsy course in the world built on a foundation of neuromarketing. And while coaches like this are super cool, like, wow, cool guy energy. In the Handmade Alpha Academy, I don't teach success secrets. I teach data, science, and behavioral psychology because success secrets are subjective, but science, science doesn't lie. Which is why we have over a thousand successful students, many of whom run their businesses full time. Not to mention, I'm so invested in your Etsy success that I personally buy each of my students a 12 month E-Rank Pro subscription for your keyword research. And I provide you with annual access to our yearly Alpha Holiday Bootcamp. So if you dig my teaching style and this sounds like something that you may be interested in checking out for your own business, I've added a link up here somewhere and down below where you can learn more about the program, our success stories, and the class curriculum. Overall, holiday success on Etsy means treating customers how you expect to be treated when shopping online and providing the very best service possible to those you serve. And with a little science, a lot of data, and some help from a trusted Etsy expert, you'll be well on your way to Etsy success. Cue the funky lo-fi beat.